Side by side, coming off the jump, Zombie goes right, Sparkle Smash has a huge flip and lands it for the win. Huge air for Wolf's head, Zombie crashes hard on the far side. Racing Stripe's a little ahead, but oh, Scooby-Doo's catching up, it's so close at the line, who won? Welcome to our Time for Adventures diecast monster truck racing and reveals. With Halloween upon us, our Monster Jam replica fire and ice track has been overrun by skeletons, creatures, grim, spiders, and spider webs everywhere. But the races must continue. Today, we bring to you another 16 truck diecast monster truck racing tournament. But not only do these trucks have to battle each other, they have to battle the elements of Halloween on the track. And for today's tournament, we have a very special lineup as we have 16 custom made, hand painted, bloody zombie monster trucks. Let's meet the first eight trucks in today's event. We have El Toro Loco, Skeleton Zombie, Horsepower, Monster Mutt Husky, Burn Victim Zombie, Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Original Monster Mutt, and Dragon. Do these custom bloody zombie monster trucks have what it takes to beat creatures, skeletons, and spiders today? Or will they fall victim and just get stuck in the webs? We're about to find out soon, but let's meet the other eight trucks. The other zombie trucks competing in today's tournament are Racing Stripes, Sparkle Smash, Scooby-Doo, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, Megalodon, Monster Mutt Poodle, Wolf's Head, and Biker Zombie. Which of these 16 bloody monster trucks has what it takes to be the winner today? For this Halloween tournament, we have El Toro Loco taking on Biker Zombie, Zombie taking on Wolf's Head, Horsepower taking on Poodle, Husky taking on Megalodon, Burn Victim Zombie taking on Dalmatian, Rottweiler taking on Scooby-Doo, Monster Mutt taking on Sparkle Smash, and finally, Dragon will be racing racing stripes. Let's now head back over to the track and get these races started. I know these zombie trucks sure are ready to battle. Are you? What is your favorite truck and who do you think will win? Up first, we have Biker Zombie in the blue lane and El Toro Loco in the red lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, Biker Zombie, little head coming into the jump, big arrow. Biker Zombie starts to go right, will miss the crush cars to be eliminated. El Toro Loco wins and Biker Zombie ends up in the webs. Oh, we were afraid this was gonna happen. Let's watch again in slow-mo. Coming down the ramp, Biker Zombie starts to pull away by about a half a truck, but has problems on the very first jump, goes completely right, misses the crush cars and will be eliminated from the race. El Toro Loco nice and smooth over the crush cars to the line to take the win. Wow, those spiders are really gonna have fun with that zombie truck over there. Biker Zombie forgot this was a race and just started wandering around aimlessly, but it is El Toro Loco taking the win, moving into the next round. And if that's any indication, we sure are up for some good racing today. Let's head back up to the starting line for the next race. For race number two of the first round, we have Wolf's Head racing out of the blue lane, taking on the original zombie in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off. Wolf's Head really pulling away, coming down the ramp. Huge arrow. Zombie's going last. Starts to land on the front. as a huge crash over by the creatures. And it will be Wolf's Head taking the win. Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, Wolf's Head pulls away by about a truck lane. Coming into the jump, Zombie just turned left, lands on the front, the arm gets stuck on the track, starts to flip and takes out a pumpkin. Wow, Wolf's Head has a big crash himself, but over across the line for the win. What a race. Well, that's two races and two zombie trucks that have crashed out and missed the crush cars, but at least this one took out a pumpkin and an obstacle. That was awesome. And it is Wolf's Head taking the win and moving into the next round. Let's head back up to the starting line for the next race. For this one, we have the pink zombie poodle in the blue lane, taking on horsepower in the red lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, both trucks side by side, coming into the jump, big air, they're both headed to the center. Oh, horsepower gets hung up on the center. Poodle will take the win and two wheels. That was awesome, let's take another look. As they launch, both trucks perfectly even, coming into the ramp, huge air, side by side, and they land, go to the center, horsepower hits that center obstacle and pops up. Poodle lands on two wheels, bicycles, and holds it. What a save. 
Well, horsepower just didn't quite have enough power for that race, but it is Poodle taking the win and with a little freestyle. That was an awesome race. Let's head back up to the starting line for the next round. In this race, we have Megalodon in the blue lane, taking on Monster Mutt Husky in the red lane. Let's go racing. Here they go, down the ramp, they're side by side through the air, they're side by side, land at the same time, who's gonna be faster? It is Megalodon to the line for the win. Wow, that was close. Let's take another look. This is such a close, smooth race. The trucks are side by side as they jump, side by side in the air, land at the same time. Both trucks super smooth, but it is Megalodon just a little faster to the line by about a wheel. What a race. All the way up the back obstacle, nice. Megalodon almost ended up in the spider's web and husky in the wall, but it is Megalodon taking the win, moving into the next round. Let's get these two trucks back over to the pits and the next two lined up for the next race. For this one, we have the Monster Mutt Dalmatian lined up in the blue lane, taking on the Burn Victim Zombie in the red lane. Let's go racing. Whoa, Burn Victim Zombie just shot out of the gate. Dalmatian starts having problems and crashes. Burn Victim with huge air all the way to the line for the win. That was so fast. Let's take another look. Coming right out of the gate, Burn Zombie's just so fast. Coming down the ramp by about three trucks. He leads coming into the jump. Dalmatian has problems with crashes. Burn Victim over the cars for the win. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a truck that fast on our track. That was awesome. We all know zombies usually move pretty slow, but I guess on Halloween, anything is possible because that zombie was really flying and takes the win moving into the next round. Poor Dalmatian didn't stand a chance. Let's head back up to the gate for the next race. For this one, we have Scooby-Doo racing out of the blue lane, taking on Monster Mutt Rottweiler the red lane. Here we go. And they're off, Scooby way ahead, comes in the jump here, jump to the right, oh no, oh, he corrects, comes back over the crush cars and takes the win, wow, how did he correct that? Let's take another look and see. Once they launch, coming down into the jump, Scooby pulls away by about a truck, but has problems, starts to go right, lands, corrects, and comes back over the crush cars to take the win. Monster Mutt Rottweiler never had a chance as he goes over and hits the wall, what happened? But what an awesome race, good job, Scoop. So far for our Halloween race, we have zombies taking out pumpkins, Rottweilers smashing spiders, and sharks getting stuck in spider webs. What else can happen? But in that one, it is Scooby-Doo taking the win, moving into the next round. Let's head back up to the starting line for the next race. Since the introduction of our custom Zombie Runner monster truck, so many people have asked to see the Sparkle Smash Zombie Runner. Well, here it is, all bloodied up and ready to take on Monster Mutt in the red lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, Sparkle Smash way ahead, coming into the jump, huge air all the way to the crush cars and takes the win. Oh no, all the way to the spider web. Oh, she's not stuck in there. Let's take another look in slow-mo. As they launch, Sparkle Smash starts to pull away, coming into the jump, has a huge, nice jump, smooth landing over the crush cars. Monster Mutt just never quite had it, and Sparkle Smash takes the win. Monster Mutt tried, but just couldn't quite pull it off. What a race. Well, it looks like the Zombie Monster Mutt is definitely an underdog here today, as it is the viewer favorite, Sparkle Smash, taking the win, moving into the next round. Let's head back up to the starting gate for the last race of the first round. For this one, we will have Racing Stripes in the blue lane, taking on the Zombie Dragon in the red lane. Let's go racing. And we're off, Racing Stripes way ahead, coming into the jump, big arrow, he's heading to the center, pops up in the center, oh yes, still takes the win. Dragon couldn't catch him, let's watch it again in slow-mo. Coming down the ramp, Racing Stripes really puts the power down, starts to pull away by about a truck length, has a huge jump, nice smooth landing, but heads to the center, hits the center obstacle, Dragon starts to catch up, and boom, it is Racing Stripes crossing the line first to take the win, what a race. Well, I think the Dragon just learned how Racing Stripes has earned its stripes, and it is Racing Stripes taking the win, moving into the next round, sorry Dragon. Let's head over to the pits and check out the trucks moving on. There sure has been some great racing so far in the first half of our Halloween tournament. Let's meet the trucks moving on into the second half of the race. Up first, we will have El Toro Loco racing Monster Mutt Poodle. Next, we will have Megalodon taking on Wolf's Head. Then Burn Victim Zombie and Sparkle Smash. And finally, we will have Scooby-Doo taking on Racing Stripes. Who is your favorite moving into this round? Let's get the races started. For this first race, we have El Toro Loco in the blue lane, taking on Monster Mutt Poodle in the red lane. Let's go racing. 
And they're off. El Toro Loco, a little head coming into the jump. Oh, Pluto starts to jump right, heading to the right side of the track. El Toro Loco crashes up the center, takes the win. Wow. Then they get together. Let's take another look. Right from the launch, El Toro Loco starts to pull away a little, coming into the jump, but something must break on Poodle, because Poodle just turns right, heads to the blue side of the track. El Toro Loco hits the center, pops up, starts to flip over the line, and then boom, the two crash together. What a race. These poor monster mutt zombie trucks are having a rough day today as another one gets eliminated by El Toro Loco, taking the win and moving into the semi-final round. Let's head back up to the starting gates for the next race. Up next in the gates, we have the Bloody Megalodon and the Bloody Wolf's Head ready to go. Let's go racing. Here we go, Megalodon ahead coming into the jump. Oh, Wolf's Head goes left, hits the skeleton, starts to crash. Megalodon goes right across the line into the wall. What a race. Definitely have to take another look in slow-mo, see what happens. Right out of the gate, Megalodon starts to pull away. Wolf's Head must have a problem, goes left, hits the skeleton in the graveyard, starts to crash. But Megalodon also comes off the crush cars to the right across the line and boom, right into the wall in front of our camera. What a crash. On Halloween, everyone's always scared of the wolves, but when there's a zombie Megalodon around, he's the one making everyone run and taking the win here in this race, moving into the next round. Let's head back up to the starting gates for the next race. Up next, we have Burn Victim Zombie racing out of the blue lane, taking on the Bloody Sparkle Smash in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off, Sparkle Smash ahead, coming into the jump. Huge air, Burn Victim going right. This is the crush car, now Sparkle Smash has a huge crash. But the flip and lands it to take the win. Burn Victim in the webs, let's take another look. Coming down the ramp, Sparkle Smash pulls away by about a truck, but Burn Victim goes right, completely misses the crush cars, will be eliminated. Sparkle Smash lands hard on the front, does a huge flip over the center obstacle and lands it to take the win across the line. That was awesome. What a freestyle. Three different zombie runner, zombie monster trucks entered this tournament and all three are eliminated by missing the obstacles. These zombies really don't know where they're going, but it is Sparkle Smash taking the win, moving into the semifinals. What a race that was. Let's head back up to the starting gate for the next one. For this race, we have Scooby-Doo lined up in the blue lane, taking on racing stripes in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off, Racing Stripes, little ahead, coming into the jump, huge air, but he's heading to the center, can Scooby-Doo catch up, Racing Stripes, charge, crash, oh, no, it is Racing Stripes taking the win as they get together, let's take another look. As they start coming down the ramp, Scooby-Doo just starts falling a little bit behind, both trucks have a nice smooth jump, Racing Stripes starts to head toward the center, gets hung up on the center obstacle, Scooby-Doo starts coming back, and boom, Racing Stripes takes the win by about a nose, what a race. Oh, well, like, yeah, Scoop, you're supposed to win that race, but you didn't. <laughs> it is Racing Stripes taking the win, moving into the semifinals. Let's head over to the pits and check out all the trucks moving on. These custom-painted Zombie Runner Monster trucks sure have put on a good show here today with some great races, big crashes, and even a little freestyle. And these 12 trucks right here have been eliminated, but... These four Zombie Runner Monster Trucks are moving on to the semifinals. We have El Toro Loco and Sparkle Smash, and Megalodon and Racing Stripes still in it. Who do you think is going to be the winner? Let's head back up to the gates and start right now. For our first semifinal race, we have El Toro Loco racing out of the blue lane, taking on Sparkle Smash racing out of the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off. Both trucks side by side coming into the jump. Big air still side by side when they land. El Toro Loco starts out and both starts to crash. Sparkle Smash passes for the win. What a race. Let's take another look in slow-mo, see what happens. Coming down the ramp, both trucks are dead even. Have huge air, but El Toro Loco starts head toward the center, starts to crash, hits the center obstacle, flips, Sparkle Smash jumps up, lands hard, and flips over the line to take the win. What a race. Fan favorite, moving on. Well, El Toro Loco is a little crazy and gave it a great run, but it is Sparkle Smash taking the win, moving into the final round, and El Toro Loco will have to race one more time to see if he can secure third place in this tournament. Let's head back up to the starting gates for the next race. For the next semifinals race, we have Megalodon racing out of the blue lane, taking on Racing Stripes racing out of the red lane. Here we go. And they're off Megalodon, a little head coming into the jump. Big arrow, Racing Stripes has problems, hits an eyeball. Megalodon takes the win, headed towards the spider web. Oh no, Megalodon turns from the web. What a save. Let's take another look. Coming down the entry ramp, Megalodon just starts to pull away. Racing Stripes having problems right off the first jump, heads towards the center, hits an eyeball in the eyeball jumps. 
Banglet on lands, jumps the crush cars, smooth across the line for the win and turns to avoid the spider webs. That was awesome. Well, Racing Stripes with some big problems, hitting the obstacles on the track, didn't even cross the finish line, allowing Megalodon to take the win, moving into the final round. Racing Stripes will have to race one more time to see if it can secure third place in this tournament. Let's head back over to the pits where the trucks are lined up, ready for the finals. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, and these are the trucks in the final round. <laughs> we will have El Toro Loco taking on Racing Stripes for third place. And for your final event, we will have Sparkle Smash taking on Megalodon. Who do you think will be the winner for today's event and up here on the podium with the trophy? Let's head up to the track and find out right now. In the race to secure third place, we will have El Toro Loco racing out of the blue lane, taking on Racing Stripes in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off, Racing Stripes falling behind El Toro Loco with the big jump. Oh, but he starts to crash, flips over the crash cars and the line for the win. Wow, nice, what a race. Let's take another look at slow-mo, see what happened to Racing Stripes. As the trucks launch start coming down the ramp, El Toro Loco just starts to pull away, has by about a truck lead, and Racing Stripes just starts to go left, starts to crash off to the side. El Toro Loco hits the crush cars, funny starts to flip over the line to take the win. Well, I think Racing Stripes left his own stripe over there on the wall when he hit it, but it is El Toro Loco taking the win in that race and securing third place for the tournament. He will join the others up on the podium. But let's head back up to the starting gate for your final event. Okay, this is the race everyone's been waiting for. Which custom-made zombie runner monster truck will be the winner of today's Halloween event? For this race, we have Sparkle Smash racing out of the blue lane, taking on Megalodon in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off, Sparkle Smash way ahead, coming into the jump, huge air, Megalodon having problems in his slow, Sparkle Smash smooth landing, jumps the crush cars across the line for the win with a big crash. Awesome, let's take another look at slow-mo. Coming down the ramp, there must be a problem with the Megalodon truck as Sparkle Smash just starts to pull away. Sparkle Smash has a big jump, Megalodon barely leaves the ramp. Sparkle Smash smooth landing over the crush cars to the line for the win and then a crash. Megalodon just coasting across the line to catch up and boom. Megalodon has been fast all day, but just didn't have what it takes here in the final round as Sparkle Smash takes the win of the race and of the event. Awesome! What an event this has been. What do you say we go check out the trucks in the winner circle? Oh yeah, there they are. These custom painted bloody zombie runner monster trucks have put on an awesome show here today. And for today, here are your top three. These trucks have done great. We have El Toro Loco in third place. Megalodon bringing home second place. And Sparkle Smash up there on that first place podium with the trophy. Got the creatures here to help them all celebrate. What do you say we help them celebrate? Thanks again for watching our time for adventures until next time.